Hey everybody, how's it going? I am back with another video. Uh, before I get started on this, um, there's been a lot of stuff going on since the last video I posted. The fabulous McCartney 3 train keeps rolling down the track and draining your wallet. There's a 12-inch um, version of Women and Wives that's coming out Record Store Day in June. So, there's a discrepancy on how many copies there are, because originally I heard it was supposed to only be released in the UK. Now I'm hearing they're releasing 3,000 copies in the States. So, I don't know. If I get one, I get one. That's the way I see it. The other thing that's coming out, I want to say it's April, whatever, April, whatever it is for Record Store Day. Friday Music, for some reason, feels the need to release... Two more Ringo to Fourth Colors, which would bring that album up to four. Um, I don't get it. You know, I bought one when they came out on Valentine's Day a few years back. There was a red color and a gold color. Now there's going to be, I think it's an orange and a blue. So, whatever. I wish they'd get their heads out of their butts and just release the Ringo stuff that hasn't been on vinyl. You know, Ringo Rama, um, Vertical Man. Hell, I'd even settle for some all-star band vinyl. You know, Liverpool 8, come on. I mean, why are you releasing the same crap over and over? Give me a break here. But that's enough rant for me. The other thing is, uh, Matthew Street, hi Matt, did a video not too long ago about a, I think he called it a cute little Beals box. Well, Matt, I think I'm going to do my first thread video. I picked up something new that falls into that vein. It's not going to be this one, but I will get to that. Um, this video, I think it was Joe, me and Mr. Mayo, showed one of these in, a, in one of his Beetle Finds videos. And um, it got me thinking. I was like, you know, I know I have some of these somewhere. And it just so happened, I think it was the next day or the day after, uh, one of these showed up online, and I didn't. I just I picked it up. I couldn't pass the price up on it. But what it is is Wings Fun Club, I guess you want to call it. Linda, they released calendars. I just picked this. this is new to me. This is Linda McCartney's calendar for 1983. Okay, and. This one isn't as good as some of the other ones. I mean, it's just a lot of her pictures. And occasionally there'll be a Paul picture, you know, in there, so forth and so on. But I don't know the history behind these other than they came from the Fun Club. I don't know if they were given away like at Christmas, like the Beatles flexi discs were or what. But, you know, I, I picked this one up because, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, I actually have, what, one, two, three, five other ones that I picked up through, you know, my years of beetle collecting tube. And I only pick them up if I can get the original packaging with them. And <clears throat> according to this, the tag on the box is with the compliments of MPL Communications. But this one is Linda's what that, photos for 78. Um, I've had these out in the past. Just bear with I probably should open the boxes first, but but they're not they're not always the same. See there's the calendar itself. And uh like I said, <clears throat> this one has a little tag in it that says Christmas. Love from Paul, Linda Wings, and everyone at MPL. So I'm assuming they sent these out to um, Fun Club members. But see, some of the early ones had some really nice pictures of Paul, which he's down here. You know, not just, um, you know random stuff that she took you know 
So, but, um, I don't know. I personally, here's a picture of Denny in this one, Denny Lane. I personally prefer the desk calendars like these over the rolled up ones. But, but yeah, this one, this one's, uh, 1978. If anybody's got any information out there. Um, and if these were freebies they sent out, let me know. I'm very curious. It seems like it to me, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the next year, you got Season's Greetings from MPL Communications, Linda's Signs for 79. I don't know how many years they made these. I know there's a... Um, a 1984 one that I don't have that um, I saw floating around. But let's see if I can find Here's one. <clears throat> but some of them have some pictures I've never seen. You know, not just roundabout um, like nature stuff. But if anybody else has any of these, I'd like to see them. Other than the ones I have. There's another one. But you get the idea. But this one is the 1979 calendar. And then this is the one um, Joe showed. And I have the box for it. It's a 1980 calendar. But you don't see these too often, honestly. At least I don't. And that one's got a nice picture on the cover. Paul and James. And... I mean, I don't know. I don't have any of Linda's photo books. So I don't know if... Here's a nice picture of George and Ringo. If any of these pictures were in her photo books, if they were, I wouldn't know because, like I said, I don't have any. But there's quite a few pictures in them. They're, they're very well made. I like them. That's from A Hard Day's Night, it looks like. Or afterwards. Could be Broad... No, it can't be Broad Street. It wasn't out yet. But, and there's Pete Townsend of The Who. And then, let's see, I got this one, just says MPL on it. But this calendar, to change the size of it, and this one is the 1982 calendar. And here's the 1981. This one came in a tube. This one here, I wrapped a tube in plastic to protect it. I haven't had a chance to do that on the other one. But this one's another one of those big round ones. There we go. But this one, this 1981, came out about the time as these pictures were taken. Yeah, see, it's pretty big. Around the time of McCartney 2. Because if I remember right, there's a picture of Paul in here. This one's a pain in the butt. There's a picture of Paul in here, either looking like Buddy Holly or... Yeah, see, the pictures are taken from... The video for coming up. What a pain in the butt. See? Which I think out of all of them, this one's my favorite one. That I have. Yeah, these are, every picture in here is his characters from the video of coming up. Here's his buddy Holly. And I know there's one with him playing as Hoffner, you know, in his Beatles suit. 
and stuff like that. Yeah, every picture. Here's the next one. But you get the idea. But I, like I like I said, if anybody out there has any information. On um, how many of their these there were and all that other stuff, I'd really appreciate it. You know, but yeah, this video is running a little long. I apologize for that. And then uh, the one I pulled out. This is the last one I have, which is 1982. And I don't know. I don't think I've looked at this one in a while. It's a lot of nature pictures. I guess whatever suited her fancy. But on that note, yeah, this is, I think this is the, my least favorite one out of all of them. But on that note, <clears throat> I'm going to bring this video to an end. I appreciate you all watching. Oh, and just to throw it out there. Knee surgery is going well. Therapy three times a week. All that stuff. Still got a ways to go. Uh, knock on wood, everything's going well. So that being said, I hope everyone's doing well. Hi to all the new subscribers and the guys that have hung around the last three or four years or whatever the heck it's been. I really appreciate it. On that note, I'm going to say peace out, everybody. Take care.